right, guys. It is an absolutely gorgeous spring day in February. Here in the collapse of industrial civilization on this gorgeous Monday morning, February 22nd, 2021. So I've been over on the mainstream media just checking up on what's going on in sub-Saharan Africa. And uh, I just did a short video, you can find it elsewhere, about these, uh, these African migrants uh, burying themselves in piles of garbage uh, in a dumpster to try to get out of Africa, you know, and into, uh, into Europe. So uh, you can find those, <coughs> that video elsewhere. But next to that story uh, about the migrants you know, burying themselves and turning themselves into human piles of garbage to get out of sub-Saharan Africa is this bright and hopeful story about staying in Africa. You know, why do you need to, uh, you know, bury yourself in a pile of garbage and risk your life to get the hell out of Africa when it, it the, the whole picture is rosy, and uh, I have uh, I really haven't been given this this plague of locust uh, over there in Africa enough attention. Uh, I keep starting to, and then something else comes along. And a couple of things about these locust plagues. I uh, n number one, I I'm not. I, I don't get how the locust plagues play into the insect apocalypse. It, it, it's like all the all the good bugs are going to hell in a handbasket, while the bad bugs, are, you know, are biblical plagues of locust. Anybody uh, looking for signs of the end times mentioned in the Bible, you need to look no further than uh, sub-Saharan Africa at these locust plagues going on on this planet today as the end times play out uh, and the Bible thumpers uh, get their vindication. But uh, locust plague? What locust plague? This, this, is, this is the uh, apocalyptic, hopium-soaked story of the day, of the week, uh, I don't know if we've ever had an apocalyptic, hopium-soaked story from Sub-Saharan Africa, but Reuters News, the same news service uh, who next to this story showed us the, the, uh, the migrants burying themselves in garbage to get out of Africa, had this as a counterpoint. Take it away, Reuters News. Farmers fight back making animal feed from a locust plague. Yes, making animal feed from a locust plague. This is from Kenya. <clears throat> and probably, I don't know how many other countries. This is looking at Kenya. Kenya is battling some of the worst locust plagues in decades, but startup company, the bug picture, the bug pitcher hopes to transform the pests into profits and bring, quote, hope to the hopeless, close quote, whose crops and livelihoods are being destroyed by the insects. Unusual weather patterns exacerbated by climate change have created ideal conditions for surging locust numbers which have destroyed crops and grazing grounds across East Africa and the Horn. Scientists say warmer seas are creating more rain, waking dormant eggs, and cyclones that disperse the swarms are getting stronger and more frequent. But don't worry, the new startup company, The Bug Picture. The Bug Picture is working with communities around the area 
uh, in central Kenya to harvest the insects and mill them, turning them into protein-rich animal feed and organic fertilizer for farms. And, and this is the other thing I don't get. Why don't they just catch the locust and roast the locust and, and eat all of these little uh, protein sticks directly? Uh, you know, the United Nations, part of their sustainability goals is, is telling all of us uh, to eat bugs uh, just to, you know, stop eating, uh, you know, the animals that are being fed by these bugs. The United Nations is saying eat the bugs, and I don't understand why they're not eating the bugs. But anyway, I've never tasted one. That would probably tell me why they're not. But anyway, getting back to the story, this is Laura Stanford, founder of the bug picture. <clears throat> Quote, we are trying to create hope in a hopeless situation. Yes, and help these communities alter their perspective. Alter their perspective to see these insects as a seasonal crop that can be harvested and sold for money. Yes. In central Kenya, clouds of locusts are devouring crops and other vegetation. The bug picture is targeting swarms of five hectares or less. Five hectares is about 12 and a half acres in inhabited areas not suitable for spraying. Locust swarms can travel up to 150 kilometers, you know, between 90 and 100 miles per day, and can contain between 40 to 80 million locusts per square kilometer. This is farmer Joseph Mejia, quote, they destroy all the crops when they get into the farms Sometimes they are so many, you cannot tell them apart, which are crops and which are locusts. Yes, but uh, we have the bug picture to Joseph's rescue. The bug picture says Joseph and his neighbors pay, I'm sorry, the bug picture pays the farmer and his neighbors 50 Kenyan shillings otherwise known as 45 cents per kilogram of the insects. Okay, 45 cents a kilogram is 2.2 .2 pounds, so about 20 cents per pound on the locust. I don't know how many locusts are in a pound. Uh, I've never collected a pound of locusts. My guess is it's a shitload of locusts to make 20 cents a pound locust harvesting. Yeah. Between February and 1st and the 18th, the project oversaw the harvest of 1.3 tons of locusts, according to Stanford, who said she was inspired by a similar project in Pakistan. The locusts are collected at night by torchlight when they are resting on shrubs and trees. Yes, this is uh, the Bug Pictures field coordinator, Albert Lemasulani, quote, the community is collecting locusts. Once they are collected, they are weighed and paid. Close quote. The insects are then crushed and dried, then milled and processed into powder, which is used in animal feed or as organic fertilizer. And there you go. Uh, it's called closing the circle. But uh, I want to thank the bug picture for uh, save, uh, 
bringing hope to a hopeless situation otherwise known as a, a biblical plague of locusts uh, in the end times while uh, other Africans are burying themselves in dumpsters full of garbage to uh, get away from the locust plagues and everything else. But anyway, it is an absolutely gorgeous day here and I have to get my gas sucking truck to the body shop to uh, look at the $3,000 worth of damage I, I, I caused by having a wreck with a tree in my own driveway get out there and uh, enjoy uh, uh, making your millions off of being a locust collector while you still can. Bye guys.